Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do my, or show you how I'm going to do my doll's hair. As you can see, she's sitting in a chair right now. I don't own a salon chair, so this is one of the our generation, like, table chairs. So over here, I have um, rubber bands. You should have eight, so it looks like I only have seven, so I have to get another one. And over here, I actually have an orange comb. It's plastic. I know you're not really supposed to use that on the dolls, but I'm going to get a American Girl doll brush soon, so I'm just using that for now. And then over here, I have some black and blue ribbon. They're too thick, of course, to use on the doll's hair, so I have scissors to cut them in half. So, so now I cut them in half and I got an extra rubber band. As you can see, I have black and blue. I might use them both together or I might just use one color. I'm not sure yet. So, here's the first part. First, you have to brush your hair, your doll's hair out. Now, I'm going to part the hair. So, I'm just putting it in half. There we go. And just brushing out the two halves. And the other side. Okay, that's good. So now this gets a little tricky. What you're going to do is at the front of the, the head, you're going to make three braids on each side, which is why you need all those rubber bands. So here's the first braid. As you can see, it's right in front of her head. And at the end, I just have a little rubber band. So right about here, you're going to take tiny strips and right next to your first one, you're just going to make another one and then another one. And then now all we have to do is bend them over later on and then that will kind of like cover up the gaps that you've kind of made when you braided. So that's kind of how it's going to look in the front so far. But now we have to do the other side. So it's going to look just like this side with three braids on the other side. So I already finished three braids on the other side, so now we have six in total. So you're going to take the first top and let them just come back loosely. You don't want to pull, pull too hard on the braids. So you have these three back and it's just that here's in front. Okay, there we go. And now you have three on that side and they're gonna pull back the other three on the other side and this part can get a little difficult because you're gonna be crossing over on the other braids so essentially what you're doing is taking this like these first top braids and you're putting them together and then you're going to take the second braid and go under and then over. So you're crossing over and then you're going to take the other braid and go over and then under. So you're kind of making a crisscross pattern in the back. And then when you take the other side of the braids, you'll do the same thing depending on, like, now that you have the other side done. So you're going to just take these, and you can see that you've already got a crisscross pattern going. 
And if you want it to be extra secure, I'm just putting this rubber band around both of them so they can stay still while I'm like crisscrossing so I don't have to make sure that they're waving around everywhere. Make sure it's kind of tight in the back because you don't want it super loose. And I can take your other side and then go over and then under. So just pull it under. And you can see you crisscross. And then now you go under and then over. So on both sides of the head, you should have two sticking out, one going under and one going over. So on this side, you have one, two, and then on this side, you also have two going the same way. So what we're going to do next is take the two parts that we split up and... You're going to put him into pigtails like I've done here. And um, we have our two braids in the pigtails holding them together. So you can see them in there. And then now we're going to do it to the other side. So I did it to the other side. I think this looks really good. And make sure that in the back you don't have like gaps showing just make sure it's evenly parted so you don't have gaps so I think I'm just gonna use the black ribbon because it matches the outfit all I did was did one, do one tie and that's it and it should stay in there so I can pull it out easily in the back you can see I have no gaps because I parted it evenly on the top there's the crisscross braids in the end, I think this looked really good. 